All right, guys, I'm back with Chef Wings once again. Today, I'm gonna be taking the Elder Scrolls content and the cooking videos and putting them together into one good video. I hope, because today, I'm cooking out of the Elder Scrolls cookbook. Um, I've made a lot of these recipes before, as you can tell, I've bookmarked quite a few of them. We're starting off with making honey nut treats. Honey nut treats are one of the most loved sweets in all of Skyrim. Made with a variety of delicious ingredients from different parts of Tamriel, they're actually quite easy and quick to make in your own hearth. Uh, I've made these before, they're pretty good. Uh, I actually haven't made them exactly how the recipe tells you to. Um, so I'm gonna see how that goes. Um, stay tuned because there's going to be an extra secret recipe at the end of the video. I'm going to prepare the dates, raisins, and almonds here. Uh, I recommend using a food processor, but I don't feel like breaking that out, so I'm just going to chop it by hand. Yeah, I've never actually made this recipe exactly as it says in the cookbook. Usually I swap out the raisins with dried cranberries and the almonds with peanuts. Go. There's some dates chopped up pretty finely. Not even not the biggest fan of dates, I gotta be honest, but whatever. You know, I'm starting to think it might have been a better idea to use the food processor after all. all right, now I need one sliced almonds. We have a whole cup of almonds. Seems like a lot of almonds. Here are the chopped, sliced, chopped. Almonds. I'm spilling them everywhere. All right, quarter cup peanut butter. This peanut butter's creamy. Uh, ideally, I'd probably want to be using crunchy, so that way I get peanuts in there as well. Don't generally like crunchy peanut butter, but well, I get to let know a lot of my food opinions in this video. Alright, peanut butter, melted honey, uh, add the fruit and nut mixture, plus the salt and cinnamon. Here's our, alright, here's our dates and, uh, raisins, add some of those. That's probably enough, right? Maybe I should add the oats first before the nuts. Rusty also wants me to serve them on skewers, which I don't see much the point of, other than to be accurate to the game. Oh, I just spilled them everywhere. Okay, well, I'll have to clean those up. Well, here's our honey nut treats here. This last one's falling apart in my hands. We're going to let them cool a little bit uh, in the fridge before we can taste test them. So give us just enough time to make recipe number two. Which will give us just enough time to make recipe number two. The strange Khajiit Sujira is the only one who sells her famous potato bread to those who encounter in the Faragul Inn. But because wheat is in such high demand in Skyrim, many Nords have adopted this recipe that adds potato to stretch out the supply of flour. 
This results in a light flat bread that is delicious, fresh from the oven, and slathered with butter. Uh, preheat the oven to 425. Alright, that's going. Two cups of mashed potatoes. Is this two cups? I'm not entirely sure how much this is. I made this earlier today. Then we're supposed to poke these with a fork. Poke with a fork. All right, and now we're supposed to chuck them in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. All right, take the breads out of the oven. First, taste test, honey nut treats. I just dropped some of it on the floor. These are really good. I, I kind of wish I used crunchy peanut butter to get some peanuts in there as well, but ah, whatever. The skewer was completely pointless. I, I, I just I skipped the skewer, no point. Those have Ian recommendation, but now I'm gonna try the potato bread. I have made these before, but I don't think I got the texture quite right when I did, because these are a lot more doughy than before. Anyways, let's try. Still kind of tastes like mashed potatoes in there. Um, anyways, my final thoughts are, both of these are really good, give them a try. Ian recommendation. I said that already. <laughs>